Obviously, as a kid, I knew the name. I had the pleasure of meeting him. And as soon as I did, I loved him. His personality is just so infectious. He's amazing. He had a massive impact. People still remember that name today. Um, he was one of the, as you say, the pioneer who... Um, who took squash to the next level. It, it went from the amateur sport to the professional. And he was the, the the person, the main person that got this going. And as we know, he's just an amazing motivator. So he was able to motivate all the then amateur players to become professional. And now we have the tour as it is today. And, you know, everything has to start somewhere. And he is just so amazing. And he got that going. And hard work, a lot of dedication. And look where our sport is today. Well, I think I, I probably met him once or twice very briefly when I was on tour and as a player. But one of my first real recollections was I was in Malaysia and I won my first world title. And I had one of those matches where I just played really well. Everything just worked perfectly. And Jonah came up to me after the match and I think he used the words clinical very clinical and he he basically intimated he was so impressed with my match that day and I just remember I, I think I looked at him my eyes went wide and I'm like it was the recognition of Jonah thought my match was great it was Jonah Barrington and the fact that he watched it and he was there and I um I just loved it and then it was after that that I, I had the pleasure of more opportunities to meet him because I was on tour and I was you know I was, I was doing okay coming through the rankings and and uh, winning titles, but it led to an opportunity for me to go training with him at Millfield. Well, at the time, um, I guess I'd gone a little bit, not flat, but I just needed something. And I think a lot of uh, professional sports people, doesn't matter what sport, sometimes they just need a new voice. And don't get me wrong, my coach at Caversham in Reading, Mike Johnson, was unbelievable, fantastic, love him. But I just needed something else. And so we made a decision that I'd go see Jonah. And I spent the day with him. And I think technically I was meant to only be there three hours or so. He was there with me the whole day, just talking, telling me stories. And by the time I left, I was so motivated. And he made such an impact on me that... I knew I had another two years playing squash because prior to going to him, I thought, oh, let me just get through this season. But after seeing Jonah, I stuck around for another two years. Well, I guess there's determination. Um, I'm just I'm trying to think of all the right adjectives for it, but someone who, who doesn't give up, but also if you can do something and you know you can do it better, uh, you're going to keep going at it. Um, and I think that's what he did. He could see that he needed to improve with his his fitness and his training and his skills, and he worked on that. And, you know, determination is one of the obvious words that comes to mind. Um, his his effort and his, his work ethic was phenomenal, and he was able to really instill that into anyone that's ever gone on court with him. And I think then it's just the pure passion, the pure passion and listening to him talk and any time he went on court and I had the pleasure of going on court and hitting with him. It was a combination of fun, hard work, but you could really feel the passion.